Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passage. It's getting such a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're going to be playing a little bit of Hue, which ironically has the blankest of screens. Let's just start the game up. Um, Hue was actually provided to us by its developers. Uh, I like the art style, the design of it. Weirdly, uh, the actual like promotional materials all remind me of um, what's that? Uh, what's that? I mean, true. Uh, uh, Bravest Warriors. Remind me of Bravest Warriors and. Um, I wanted. To, I, I was curious to see more of it. So, um, provided it by Curve Digital, I want to see what this colorful uh, majesty actually is. It's, it's one of those things where I know so little about the game that's just presenting. Give me information. All I have is a, a very interesting art style to work from. I'm already in love with this indie darling art. Oh, I've had the most dreadful luck. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Grey tried to steal the annular spectrum, a ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of colour. Some call them impossible colours. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Grey, maybe. Anyway, something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The ring, it... It fractured, scattering coloured shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this coloured plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the coloured tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. <laughs> I'm already in love with this. I'm loving this. I am solidly on board with this all the way. Ah. Uh, oh, I love this. <laughs> yes, I, I'm loving the design of this. It reminds me of Braid by way of... Um, Thomas was alone by way of Tesla grad. Oh, uh, the only problem is there's a lot of stuff going on here. I don't know what I meant to do here. A lot of things. Three knock door, moved around. It feels like I'm playing a game and watch game just by that outline of color. I'm Design wise, it feels like that's where they lifted their answer from going like, right, well, if we took a Game & Watch and made it super elaborate. It's, it's Mr. Game & Watch that I'm actually, like, Mr. Game & Watch is his da. Hello! Hello there! You! Is that you? Thank goodness, I've been trapped for days! Help me get out of here! I keep hearing noises! It's creeping me out! Um... I know how I meant to. Um... Find a way, I suppose. How do I, um... Do anything? Come up there. Oh, maybe the flip side. Nope. The fisherman got a glimpse of something. Something unusual. Down past the lighthouse. We have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Perhaps 
blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Oh, no. <laughs> please, yes. please let everybody watch this anything other than here. shades of grey. Right, so we obviously have blue. Nah, dee, da, ba, na, dee, ba, ba, da, dee, da, ba, ba, dee, ba, ba. Right, into the blue. Hey! The rock, the rocks, they, uh, they just disappeared! I didn't know how, how you did that. Who cares? I'm saved! Thank you! I'm just going to show my true colors shining through. Ah, uh, there we go. So I literally can't do anything else. If I jump here and... <laughs> Let's see if I actually can change the color. Oh, once you go blue, once you go a color, you can't go back. Right, so you have to switch from color to color, so now everything's going to be blue until I have another color to work from. I get you. I get you indeed. When you enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. But if you discard those expectations, don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations. To pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be. Uh, it, it does feel like letters from your dead mother, though. It, 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 I know she's saying, like, I'm alive, come and find me. Save my life, I need you to save me. Oh, hello there. Follow me. I'm just resting my leg. Don't play too close to the water now. It's a really bad nightmare. Well, that was easy enough to get around. Thank you. 
So there was a potion in here to get not anything. I thought that was actually going to be giving me my second floor so I could actually be able to make my way back. I still think I'm actually like kind of trapped in this position. I think there's somewhere else I can go in. Where else I can go in. Hello there, Shepard. Climbing the tall hill to the second color. Ba -da -da -da. The second color of the Simon Says of Alphabet. Oh, yeah. Violet, 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 violet. Ah, uh, you only see doors if they're actually of one kind or the other. Did you know, Hugh, that purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum? Yes, I did. It's the hardest color for our eyes to distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple. That's where I am. A color beyond what we can actually perceive. We call these impossible colors. And I fear that this... This is where I currently reside. So she's gone ultraviolet? If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me, do I even exist to you? I'm sure that I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or or at least I hope you are. I'm sorry, but existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real. It will indeed. It will indeed. Ow! Wrong way. So yeah, basically now you can actually see what the mechanic of the game is. Grab color, switch color, grab color, switch color, grab color, switch color, grab color, switch color, grab color, switch color. Grab color, switch color. Grab color, switch color. Here you go. Through, um, stylistically wise, it does feel like a limbo slash almost was a lone style game where you have to leap a thing. So I uh, like the fact that you do time slow down. It, it, uh, it really shouldn't be mapped to right stick though. That's that's the big problem with this. Uh, it's a bad design choice. It should be up here. Uh, especially if you're going to be doing jumping puzzles, and uh, it kind of limits your ability to whoop, switch easily between them. Jump, switch that. Jump, jump, switch to that. Jump, that. Jump, switch to that. Jump, switch to that. Ah! Feels like it's on that if you don't get the precision right. <laughs> I don't like having to jump and then which um, my right hand's always going to be less slightly less desperate than my left. 
and switch back between those. It'd be nice if there was just a toggle. I thought the toggle would actually work better for me. Um, I imagine it's not that convenient if you're going to be going through a multitude of colors. Um, if you're going to have to cycle through them or you want to have to jump from one to the other. I, the, the game has to actually pay itself off for that at a later point with multiple colors. If it happens to have more than four colors to switch from. I imagine it probably does if you want to do the whole spectrum. But um, yeah, radial dials. Uh, I don't know. Like clockwork? Like a glove. There we go. The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone and a cold autumnal crispness had caught me off guard. I sat on the grass, like surrounded by my books and papers, when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much. And then we'll actually get the hues and colors by actually mixing two of them together, I imagine. And another dungeon we go into. I'm going to play Dr. this Gray last bit and then probably give up for the... the I can't open up. It's just, these kind of games just kind of just draw you in though. Our fires burnt brightest when we worked together. It felt like we could achieve anything. We discovered more about colour than I could ever have imagined. We split light, mapped spectrums, we painted. We laughed. We worked long hours and soon our goal became all-consuming. We were vessels. The work became more important than us, and we knew it.
Mental! Alright, so I'm... I'm gonna, it, literally all this is going to become is a number of Pokemon puzzles. That's it, right? I need to actually position them so I can jump from one to the other between jumps, right? Yeah, that, that, that makes sense, right? But um, I'm just wondering where I'm looking at going, like, am I losing my mind? Is that exactly what they want me to do? Say like, do I have to get the timings exactly right, or can I just like cheat it? Yeah, I can cheat it. <laughs> hey! Oh, can't jump them inside a block that way. Musical notes as well whenever you actually go to solve a puzzle. So yeah, that's this is gonna be the last puzzle I'm gonna be doing. So I'm, I'm glad it's actually one that took a little bit of actual think thinking in. Um, yeah. Oh god, damn it! <laughs> that's a stupid move on my part as well. I don't know why it is. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Success! 
that is us completed through the challenge that I was going to do of this game. That had to be done with you. But um, uh, obviously the puzzles get more elaborate as time goes on. As you can see, there is plenty of shit to fill in my head right now. But you, it's it's nice. It's actually quite sweet. Oh, and it's crossplay too. Oh, you can play it between your Vita and your uh, PS4 or PS3, matter than where you downloaded it from. Yes, Hugh is delightful. I'm actually enjoying the hell out of it. Um, best description I can give for it is a mixture of Braid, Thomas was alone. Um, what, else? What, what other recent kind of platformers? Tesla Grad. Tesla Grad. Um, low Tesla Grad was actually a lot much more active actiony because it has bosses as well in it. But in that kind of same vein, um, Little Nightmares maybe even could be actually qualified in that. But that's more of a this is a more of a puzzler than anything else. That's why Braid and Thomas was alone kind of jumped to my mind immediately in design wise. Um, it's got the narrative of Thomas. It has the puzzle solving of Braid with a unique color mechanic and fair play to it for the design, which in its opening first couple of screens, it reminds me a lot of a very elaborate version of Mr. Game & Watch, the uh, old Nintendo games. If you don't know what a Game & Watch is, damn am I old. Go and Google it, my friends, and find out what it is. If you actually happen to play Smash Brothers, that's one of the characters Mr. Game & Watch. That's, that's what his level's from. You can see there's actually a bit of a similarity between the designs there. But uh, yeah. You was actually really good fun. I actually knew I liked the art style that was shown in the uh, promo images and the actual poster and the main screen of it. Uh, now I know what the plot is, that it's actually a mother who has lost her son who's reaching out to him across a color dimension to try and find him, to make, give him the ability to find her on the, her palette, essentially. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's very, very charming. Uh, I would love to play more of this if you actually be interested in seeing more of the puzzles solved here in Hugh. I'd love to do it with the assistance of the live stream because that actually be kind of fun to get all everybody together in the live stream and essentially just have you guys shouting at me the entire way through how to solve the puzzle if you can see it before i do i managed to solve it that time but if you were actually the kind of person who was frustrated angry and does just like oh of course this is how you do it and end up as you were shouting at your screen out please say so in the comments and tell me if you would like to see more of this or if you would actually just show me how it's done because i would actually be interested in seeing that as well so thank you very much for watching, guys. If you haven't been watching this on YouTube, there'll be a box appearing up there. There'll be a playlist. Over there will be the most recent video on the channel. And here will be a video just for you. Based on the YouTube analytics and the things you do on YouTube and all the things that you actually search for. I'll take a video that I have made that you will like. And it'll be right here for you to check out. Well, right here-ish for you to check out. And if you haven't actually not done previously, like, comment, subscribe, all the other things. Uh, if you don't watch this on YouTube, there is a subscribe button for whatever manner or form that you actually are using this. You should actually probably hit that instead. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you do in next video. Bye.